Hi guys and welcome to Copenhagen. First stop, let's get some bicycles. Alright guys, so we've now got ourselves some bikes because as you do in Copenhagen, we got two bikes for two days and it was about £20 each and he actually gave us like a little extra discount on top of that. So highly recommend it. It's called Bike Rental Copenhagen. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, we're starving, we're gonna get some lunch. See you there. I did good, right? I'm getting better, you guys. I didn't fall. My memory card became seriously corrupted on this trip and the footage of the food market was totally unsalvageable. But we did have some drinks here and then we spent the rest of the day at Christiania, which is an entirely separate video, which you should totally go watch after this one. Anyways, let's move on to day two. but it's actually a Japanese bakery, but it's like Danish inspired. It's got really good reviews. So we've gone for the classic cinnamon roll. I've gone for some sort of like um, cheesecake with blueberry in it that looked really good. And Lee has gone for a big badass almond croissant. It's literally like the size of my head. And we just got two oatmeal lattes and it came to a total of 20 euro was the equivalent. So about what, 16 pound, Lee? It's delicious. It's got almonds on top, it's got some kind of nut. And then like a nut cream inside it. Nut cream. <laughs> Hands down. The best croissant I've ever had. Made big shot. Hands down. It's so flaky, but it's like so moisture. Best and croissant you've ever had. Hands down, best croissant I've ever had. Well, it's no. a Danish pastry in Copenhagen. The Danes are no fun. We've got to burn some calories today, lads. So, okay, let me try mine. Let me try the cheesecake one first, so. Heaven. Heaven. Okay, it was worth It was worth the 20 euro. It was hands down worth the 20 euro. Last one we're going to try, the cinnamon one. I think these are like famous here. Holy smokes, if I lived here, I'd be more bloobies. Oh my God, it's so good. You gotta try that. that. You, you probably wouldn't because you cycle all the time. That's true. You've got to try that. That's a, Again, that's probably the best cinnamon roll I've ever had. Okay, so we're gonna enjoy these, hop back on the bikes and we'll see you then. We are outside of the power energy plant, which isn't really normally something we would do on holidays, but this is a very, very different power plant. This is actually a power plant that has transformed its rooftop into a ski slope. So you can ski, you can snowboard. They have the tallest climbing wall in Europe built on the side of it, and it's entirely sustainable. So all of that kind of smoke and stuff you see coming from that pipe, that is just steam. There's no nasty chemicals, nothing in it. So we only have booked in to do a ski session for one hour. We've never been skiing before, so we don't know how this is gonna go, but it was 20 pound each, and I think we've gotta pay maybe another 20 pound for equipment. We'll let you know afterwards. So let's see how we get on at skiing. Get my bookings, scan your QR code, and you get your ski pass. And it's literally like an Alps ski pass. It's a ski card. Ski card. Now you are ready to go skiing. <laughs> Got me wanting more, yeah. Got a feeling never felt before. Got me buzzing, got me buzzing. You got something that I can't deny. Got me so excited, got me feeling high. Got me humming, got me humming. Got me buzzing, got me buzzing, yeah. Got me buzzing. Yeah. Alright guys, skiing was really hard, so the guy was nice enough to let us have a go on the toboggans. So me and Lee's having a go on the toboggans now. <laughs> Much less work and a lot more fun. Although I think I now want to do a skiing holiday. Okay. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> 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 that like hit me. <laughs> the cave. 
we saw, we conquered. And we've got an actual little ski lift here. Can you put mine in for me, please? Thank you, muscles. There is the rock climbing wall. High five. We it's did. difficult, kids. <laughs> it's not, it's not, for, not for whips. It's naive to think you could do it on the first child. You can't. <laughs> we need lessons. We did, we did pretty good because we've never had lessons in our life. Expect the slope. <laughs> the key back. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank ladies. You. Thanks. That was Copenhagen. Now, we didn't master the big slope, but we did give it a good shot. Oh, where's our bikes? Walk past them. <laughs> now, we didn't master the big hill. We didn't even make it to the very top, but we give it a go, and that's what counts. And now I think we're ready for the Alps. Next up, the Alps. Just to let you know, so it was 20 euro each for the hour on the slope, and then you obviously have to rent the equipment, which I think, well, how much was that actually? It was about another 20 on top of that each. And then also we bought gloves. You don't have to buy gloves, but I would, if you've never been skiing before, I would definitely recommend it. Otherwise I would, if, I would be, or wear gloves. I would be covered in carpet burns right now all over my hands because it, it like the first time when you fall, it's really painful. So yeah, definitely get gloves, but it was so much fun. And also I have to say, they're so kind and friendly in there. The girls were super helpful in the shop. The guy that was working the slopes was really patient with me and Lee. He told us we could take as long as we wanted on the little bunny slope. And then he even let us have a go in the toboggans because you could see that we weren't natural born skiers. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend Copen Hill. All right, I think we've earned ourselves a little fresh enough and a drink. Let's go. We have one margarita, one sol, and one, uh, one of each. Yes, please. Can Thank I you. have a name, please? Yeah, Lauren. Lauren? Thank you. One is pork, one is beef, and one is vegan. And then we've got ourselves salt beer and a mandarin margarita. Mmm, perfect. Very, very good. Yeah. Crunchy, colorful flavors. No, I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. It's not got that much flavor. The margarita, however, it's so good, so refreshing. It's really tangy. Not too sweet. I think it's got a little bit of chili around the edge of it as well. And it got a good tequila kick. What happens to be? It's savory, but it's like got a good kick, but not too much. Like where you can taste it, it doesn't burn. The beef is so good. I don't know what flavors is in that. It is good. Beef's my favorite. Get the beef. If you're coming, get the beef. You want, and get a margarita. <laughs> it is pricey, but you kind of pay for the experience and the location and the atmosphere. So when in Copenhagen. <laughs> Is why we and Lee get up at sunrise on every holiday to get footage and get photos because if you want anything decent you gotta get here before the crowds. It's 3.30 now. To be fair it's Easter bank holiday but if you want a photo we're gonna have Mary, Jim, Joseph and Margaret in the background. So come here for sunrise guys. Don't be like us. The statue is actually gifted by a Danish brewer and it's inspired by the Little Mermaid like not Disney's Hans Christian Andersen. Yeah, look how clear the water is. Wow okay look how clear this water is. The water here is so clean. You can literally see to the bottom of the water. Well, while we're here, guys, we have a little hack for you. Because the drinks in Copenhagen are very expensive, it's for like a glass per second, it's about 10, 11 pound, not even euro pound. So, myself and Lee have discovered that you can get drinks in 7 Eleven, four star martinis, and beers. And you can just come to the park, or you can come to the harbour, or you can go to the beach and just have them outside. And because it's such a nice day and the weather's lovely, that's what we're doing. So that's a little hack for you. And then we'll go to the park. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the park later. Alright guys, so our final stop of the evening is going to be Gasoline Grill. This is actually one of the best burgers in the world and it's also a gas station where you can actually buy petrol here, which is funny. So mainly I think we're going to try like two different burgers and get some fries to share and we'll let you know what we think. But this, this was highly recommended by a load of food vloggers including Mark Weens. So our expectations are pretty high. Let's hope it lives up to them. Let's try Gasoline Grill. Oh my god guys, after all that they've literally sold out of patties. I had to leave the queue. They've only got like veggie burgers left and I'm not that fussed about that. Poor Lee's devastated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you get that close and it gets taken away. You can smell it as well, it smells so good. So Especially. there is actually an alternative gasoline grill in another food marketplace which might have some patties left. And now we've had the smell of it, so I think we're going to maybe try that one instead. It's not the OG, but it's just as good. Okay, let's go to there, yeah? Yeah. So we've just cycled to another gasoline grill. Burp, 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 burp. Sold out as well. Oh my God. Okay, but mama didn't raise no quitter. There's one last option and hopefully they have burgers left. Let's go. 
Oh, which is true, guys. We're here at the last one. Are they sold out? Oh my God, it says sold out. We have resigned on the idea of the gasoline grill today because we've hit up every gasoline grill in the city. None to be had. They're sold out everywhere. So that's just a warning to anybody watching this. If you want to come here and get gasoline grill, don't wait until like six or seven o'clock like we did. Get there earlier in the day. So an alternative, it's not a bad alternative. We've gone for Strangas. Greek food. It was basically one of the only stalls left that had food. So Lee, you've had a fry. What do you think? delicious we've gone for a pork gyros fries and dip and these gone for chicken and then we've just got a raspberry mojito and a beer and i don't even want to tell you how much this costs because it's probably the cost of a michelin star meal but we're starving and it's worth it so grubs up so the chips actually got a little bit of paprika we got some dip it was 129 danish crumb i have to say the chips are delicious I'll tell you what it's not a bad alternative Delicious. All right, I'm too hungry, so we're gonna put the camera away and eat. Good morning, guys, and welcome to our final day in Copenhagen. We're gonna give you a quick hotel tour because we forgot to do that at the start of the video. So let's get started. Super quick room tour. We've got some hooks here, TV, bed that's not made. We've just got out of bed. Storage for our luggage, little bathroom. That's it, that's all there is. Okay, let's show you where the actual cool stuff is. All of the amenities in the hotel is the best thing about this place. Okay. Check-in area, fireplace, fully stocked bar, Guinness tap, some more seating, fresh water, fun fact, tap water in Denmark is cleaner than most bottled water that you'll buy in the shop. They do beer pong every night so you can make friends. Over here you have a huge flat screen TV, a third bar. Down here, if you're staying in the hostel part, this is where your lockers, your showers, your toilets are that you'll share. Over here you've got some more foosball, a full soccer court, some more seating, shuffleboard, a fully stocked gym with treadmills, weights, elliptical machines, bands, medicine balls. And through here is the cinema. <laughs> and the car. <laughs> That's it for the tour. We're going to take some photos down at the harbour, then we're going to hand back the bikes, get some breakfast and head to Tivoli Gardens. So let's get started for today. All right guys, so we're now here in the Haven, I hope I'm saying that right, harbour. We're going to try to get some pictures. We've sort of missed sunrise as you can see, it's pretty harsh lighting, but we're going to do our best. If you come here, this is like the main kind of Instagram spot of Copenhagen. Just to let you know though, everything here, food and drink wise, is completely overpriced. So unless you want to do it and get a picture for the gram, I don't see a point in sitting in and having a coffee and paying like 20 euro for it. So, up to you though, we're going to get some photos, it's really pretty. So we are now here at Grode. This is the most famous porridge that you can have in Copenhagen. It's like a, literally a porridge boutique. So you have a couple options. You can pick one of the ones that they have pre-made or you can make your own, which is what I'm gonna do. So you've got make your own porridge, small or large, and it's 65 Danish krone. So for one small, one large porridge bowl and two lattes, it was 195, which is maybe like 20 pounds. So we'll see if it's worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. In my opinion, the porridge was nothing special. The caramel sauce is nice, but it is incredibly sweet. So if you are planning to go, pick something a little tart to go with it to balance it out. Now, in my opinion, 11 pound for a bowl of porridge and a coffee, well, it wasn't really worth it. So we are outside Tivoli Gardens and in the amusement park. And much like The Little Mermaid has Christian Anderson inspired Walt Disney to create the film. This is the OG Disneyland. This is Disneyland before Disneyland existed. So it's probably like one of the oldest amusement parks in the world. It's really famous. We're gonna go in, hop on a few rides. Hopefully we can keep our porridge down and check out the gardens inside. It's meant to be beautiful. So let's check it out. It's all Easter themed. I'm excited. Let's go. Also, I forgot to mention, we went to leave the bags back and asked the guy if we could keep them just for like a little bit longer so we can cycle back from Tivoli because it's a bit of a journey. And he was really nice. And he said, yeah, and he didn't charge us any extra. So Danish people so far are super, super nice and helpful. Hi. Please get um, entrance and ride pass. Yeah, There's two of those. For two persons, yes, please. Thank you. So the plan for Tivoli was to take you guys on all the rides with us, but on pretty much every ride, they made me put my GoPro in a locker. So we can show you our POV of the rides, but we did go on the demon. All right, guys. We've just been on the demon. We weren't allowed to bring the GoPro. I'm actually like, I feel like I've been put through a G force. The magic carpet. You must be like this to to ride. I just about hit the corner. That was another ride you're not allowed to bring your camera on. I don't think I'm going to be able to bring my camera on any of these rides, so I'm not sure how I'm going to vlog this. But so far, that one I liked a lot. <laughs> that one is like, your stomach just goes <laughs> Which one next, babe? The swinging chairs. Can't take the camera on this one either. You get patted down on the way in to make sure you're not sneaking it on. 
And then I tried to convince Lee to go on this ride with me. Yeah, come with me, baby. Look, it doesn't go fast. It's my nemesis. It doesn't go fast. It makes me feel safe. I know it. What if we go on one of the ones that's together? No, seriously, I've done it many times. I don't want to go on my own. You'll be fine. Let's go on our own. I'll tell you Look, we'll go on the animals. We'll go to here. Look, the animals is nice and chill. So you've got lions? No, God no. It's like, it's, it's There's hot. children on them. It doesn't matter. It makes me sick. It's making me sick more than something. Oh, I promise you won't get sick. No, I will get sick. Please don't come on, doesn't it? I'm going to go on my own. I feel like I'm putting it so fine. The highest right, fine. It's on my own. I'm not happy about it. Toot speed. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> How was it? It's fine. It wasn't my favourite ride. It was actually a bit boring. <laughs> it wasn't scary. Does okay. it make you feel sick? No, it's fine. It's just got good views over the city. you got stomach to steal. Ah! Right, well, let's go on something a bit more exciting. There was one small roller coaster where we managed to sneak the camera on. <laughs> Lee's a little bit green than the gills after that last ride. Too many, too many, um, too many rides on porridge. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that porridge was the best ride here before we came here. I actually just, I don't feel sick, I just feel dizzy. But I've got one final ride that I'm going to go on. You definitely cannot take your camera on this. Lee's not going to do it, so Lee's going to film me on the other camera. So this is it. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Tic-tac. The most dangerous ride in <laughs> Tivoli. Somebody puked all over it. They have to clean it. All right, so we go get food now instead, I guess. Okay, let's get some gasoline grill. We're gonna get across the grill here, as well as to leave the park and come back. Let's go get it. What is this now? The fourth, the fourth one we've been to. Four times the charm. All right, guys. Almost 45 to 50 minutes later. We have it. We got it. Now to see if it's worth the hype. So we've gone for, we don't know which is which. One of these is a cheese. I think it's C for cheese. And what did you get? Original. original. Yeah, that's original yours. Plus. And then we've got a gasoline sauce and a chili mayo. So, Lee, you wanna try, you wanna try a chip in the sauce? Good chips. Good chips. <clears throat> nice crunch. Nice. Soft, warm. Mm. Yep. It's a Big Mac burger kind of sauce. Now for the piece de resistance. Lee, is go Lee got the racial burger, but he wanted cheese on it. So it's basically like the OG, and he's just added another layer to it. So do us the honor, Fib. You got the original burger, you got lettuce, tomato, red onions, and it looks like some kind of crispy onion type thing as well. Yeah, there's a like crispy onion. No, is that the cheese? That's the cheese, I think. Melted, it's crispy. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Okay. No, that's the cheese, that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's crispy onions. Right. Is that a happy face? Really good. It's really good? Yeah, you can tell it's a high quality burger. The meat is just like... Juicy? Yeah, perfect seasoning as well. Nice. Not too much and not too little. For just the cheeseburger, I think it comes with pickles and onions. Can you see that? Is that a focus? Okay, let's see where they go. I don't even like burgers. I'm not a burger person, but that is freaking good. So that's really good. All the pickles, all the juices. It's juicy. The bread is from that bakery we went to the other day, Anderson Bakery, so it's like a brioche roll. We got pickles, the gasoline sauce. I think it's just like a cheddar cheese, some red onion in there, and it's like, it's medium to well done, I would say, the burger, but it's really, really juicy. It's really high quality. We're going to tuck in and enjoy these because we have burnt a lot of calories cycling in there. We'll see you shortly. Demolished. Oh, that's you full. That's all we're gonna do for today at Tivoli Gardens. We're gonna come back later when it's all lit up, but I can't really get any nice footage. It's too harsh lighting. So we're gonna drop these bikes back to this nice chap. And then I just know, we'll take a little break by the harbor. We're absolutely wrecked. So we've jam packed these three days. I don't know what to say goodbye to this bicycle. I have to say, she's been a stallion. This whole trip. She's been my old reliable red. Look at Max Copenhagen. I'm asking for this bike again. What if you go to Amsterdam? I want a bike that looks like this bike. <laughs> I want one that's like low. But it'll never be red. Oh, you don't want to leave the back. The end of the road. Knocking her up the final time. I love this bike. My <laughs> red. Same bike as Schwartz. This bike as Schwartz. Yep. It's too painful. <laughs> Alright. Let's go have some drinks. I need, to, I need to numb the pain of losing red. Two 
hours later. We're back at Tivoli, guys, after a couple of drinks. We're going on one final ride. One more. One Uno more. Mas. Uno mas, por favor. So chill this ride. It's not fast at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I'm gonna give you all my love. Wildflower, give you every minute, oh. every hour. Dancing, the wind, you leave it whispering. I'm gonna give you all my love. Wildflower. We've done Christiania, we've done the harbour, we've done skiing, we've done Tivoli Gardens, we've done the Little Mermaid. I am exhausted. We've tried Danish pastries, we've tried gasoline grill, we've tried grilled orange. We are full, we are stuffed, we are exhausted. So Copenhagen, it has been a real one. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves, goodbye and good luck.